right? Right? This is what we're doing today. Come, come with me. So I looked up online and it looks like you need an edible printer. <laughs> I think you're doing like wafer paper on top and then an edible image on the bottom. I don't have an edible printer. Cause I usually just go to the like Walmart or Sobeys. Like I go to my local grocery store, even Dairy Queens does them. You can go get edible images there for 10 bucks. That's what I do, but they can't print on wafer paper, which is what burns. So we need that photo cake edible printer. Why is it $500? Why don't we look to see if we can find like a Canon or Epson compatible edible ink cartridge? Edible ink. Cartridges for Canon. <gasps> edible ink cartridge replacement for Canon. The only problem every printer that it's compatible with is currently out of stock. I even looked at our local cake decorating store. Amazing news, they have edible ink options. But again, most of the printers that they're compatible with are no longer in production, except for the really, really expensive ones. So it looks like instead of getting a $100 cheap printer, I'm spending $350 on an expensive one just for this video. So I'm gonna order my printer online and then let's go to the local cake decorating store and, and get our ink. Looks like that's what I need. So the fondant paper is pretty expensive because it's about $50 for a pack. Um, but then I also need wafer paper, which is 36. That's where I have some, but for safety, we're just, we're gonna get it all. It was $197 for photo paper um, and edible ink. And the printer sent me back $400. So I'm out like $600 for this edible image right now. Does this look like $600? Cause this is not feeling like $600. It's got, a CD-ROM. This is a new printer and they're still coming with CD-ROM. Does anyone have like a CD slot in their computers these days? Half the people watching this video probably don't even know they what They don't even is. know what we're talking about. What about a good old floppy disk? Really showing my age now. <laughs> <laughs> the deeper I get into this trend, the more I realize um, how big it is because it's gotten news coverage, which like cake trends never get news coverage. It's called Burn Away Cakes. <laughs> so an image on the sweet treat is lit on fire. This viral burn away cake of Taylor Swift lit up social media. This is extremely popular. Everybody is loving it. You take whatever, a match whatever, yeah. and light the top of a cake on fire. I, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> People either love it or they hate it. I mean, people are saying that like, you can't even trust customers to get the cakes to their houses in one piece and now you're gonna expect them to light a cake on fire and it'd be okay. And other people are being like, expectations, reality, like you're just setting it up for failure because they take so long to burn. There is debate. But regardless, we're gonna try it. Uh, I don't do printer things. Kevin does printer things and I don't know I feel like it's embarrassing to be in my 30s and not have to set up a printer, but I don't know how to set up a printer. Kevin to the rescue! What are you doing? I'm filming you. I'm not ready. Yeah, but you did it. I taste like crap, but you can't eat it. You have edible paper on your chin? No, I don't. A little speck right there. Everyone's gonna know you're eating paper. Kevin, um, <laughs> The internet, me? the internet, yes, I'm blaming you. The internet, everyone does. Are you okay? Take your drink. Okay, you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. The internet, um, everyone does a cake, a burnaway cake from the top of the cake. And Kevin wants me to do the top of the cake and the sides. Oh yeah, it'd be so much cooler to do the front because then everyone on A-cam over here, right here on this camera, right you guys. So now I've got to do see. the top and the sides. Should be interesting. You know, my biggest hang up with this trend is how expensive the setup is. But thankfully with Misplay, I can earn Amazon gift cards just by playing mobile games. Misplay is today's sponsor and I'm super excited that they're helping me put all of my gaming time to good use. They're a loyalty app for us mobile game lovers. I love gaming because it's just a great way to relax and tune out the world when I need some downtime. But I also feel a little guilty um, gaming instead of being, you know, productive sometimes. When 
you download Misplay, you can earn points from all the time that you spend gaming through their huge catalog of games. The more you play, the more points you earn, which you then can redeem towards gift cards for your favorite brands like Amazon, Starbucks, Sephora, and so many others. You know I love my merging and match three games. I play a ton of them, but I found Happy Color through Misplay and I've been finding it so relaxing and satisfying. I mean, imagine paint by numbers, but digitally. And of course I chose the one that looks like Puppy Archie. I have been racking up all of my points coloring that I can then use towards Amazon gift cards to help lessen the blow with big purchases like this hefty printer. If you sign up today, you can get 200 bonus points plus an extra 50 points using my code ICING50. Click the link down below or go to misplay.com slash ICING to download Misplay for free. I had some fun ideas for what we could do with the burn away cake. Okay, I've been brainstorming. What if we did something like that meme where it's like, there was a spider in my house. <laughs> so you can see in the background with like light flames and that was on fire. And then underneath the second layer, it could be a picture of a spider. <laughs> I've got another one. So what if the top image was a picture of Chris Rock and he's on stage and it's the quote of the line that he said and then it burns and then it's him getting slapped by Will Smith. It's just a picture of him getting slapped. Just a picture of him getting slapped. <laughs> But I think I came up with a better one last night that I'm now kind of in love with. I wanna use your positive comments to help like squash out negative comments. Okay, okay, sorry. So imagine like a negative comment on the outside of the cake and I light it on fire and burn away all the negativity and it's just like left with like love and positivity. That's what I wanna do. It's fire, right? Community tab post, I'm gonna put as many positive comments as I can on this cake so you guys are gonna have to get your comments in. Now the thing is, I don't know if anybody really knows this who aren't YouTubers, but YouTube filters out comments. You can do flag words that they'll just put into a folder that you never have to see and that's held for review. Sometimes we go through that folder because a lot of things get flagged that shouldn't get flagged, but there's a lot of nasty comments in these folders. So um, for a long time, Kevin has been responsible of going through them, so I don't I don't look here anymore. I stopped going through them after somebody said something mean about me. And yeah. I feelings. Are you in the folder? I'm in the folder. Oh no. <laughs> Judgy wudgy Lori. Judgy wudgy Lori. <laughs> I could like go through this and read a bunch of comments and try to pick one, but honestly, there was one comment in particular that I got years ago and I'm gonna find it because it's somewhere on here. And it's cut deep, deeper than like, I feel like any other comment, I can see the comment word for word, what it was, and it was just really cruel. So we're gonna do that one. You're gonna have to wait till the end to see what it was. I'm gonna prep my cake, prep my icing, and come back for the fun part. Everything is prepped for the cake, and over 300 of you commented positive, amazing comments. We read every single one of them. My God, guys, those were so sweet. They really were. Um, I can't put all 300 on the cake, but here are all the amazing comments you did. We're doing a little screen capture here to show so you guys are still in the video, but I managed to fit 80 on the cake. So, um, let's go. Also, thank you everyone who said all the nice stuff about me. Yeah, and Archie, you guys are the yeah. sweetest. Lots of stuff about Archie So many too. nice things. Archie got nice. a bath this morning um, and is very cold and cuddly now. Yeah, he got a shave yesterday and a bath today. That was one happy dog. Where's your eyes, Archie? No, I'm going back to sleep. Okay. Night night. This? How do I cancel? Cancel. What's happening here? Just snuck your pinky into my hand. <laughs> Print. Yeah. Comments! So the nice comments are gonna go on the inside, the bad comments are gonna go on the outside, but on the top of the cake, I thought I'd do like an angry emoji and a loving emoji. Feel like it fits the vibe. Oh, you can't see the negative comment. The one that crushed my soul. Arr. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, <laughs> cake things. What's this stuff? Um, Biscoff. Is there icing? Is it just pure Biscoff? No, it's icing. What now? What's this? What are you getting now? What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. I'm getting my amazing Cake scraper smoother. Um, that works amazing. You can get it by clicking the, the little eye here. I need a cake board. <laughs> Damn, Kevin, you're making me feel so rushed and flustered. Why do I have two different flavored cakes, you wonder? Um, because we're moving and my freezer's full of random different cakes, so we're using all those random different cakes in this video. <laughs> but it's good because Biscoff buttercream works really well with both vanilla and chocolate. So. 
What negative comments have hurt your feelings? What cut to deep? I can't remember what that person said about me that got me. It was enough to like stop reading comments for a month. Yeah. You didn't want to come on camera for a while after that. And it's just one yeah. of those things. It's, it's, you get so much love. Yeah, that's so the thing. Like you're like one mean one. It's just like, oh, this thing that I always was self-conscious about, somebody just brought light to it and noticed it and now it feels really real. And now the rest of the world notices it too. We're humans, you know, and we have feelings. And I think as much as if somebody walked down the street and called you a mean name or said something really mean about you, it still hits the same when you see it in a comment. And then it makes you self-conscious of like everything that you're doing. There was a really funny video that we uploaded last year and it didn't get barely any views, but it was so fun and so funny to film. Um, I'll link it here at the, the eye thing. It was me remote controlling Kevin from another room. So he had to listen to all my directions and decorate a whole cake and it's hilarious. You guys should probably watch it. Okay, cake, crumb coated. Oh my God, it's so tall and heavy. It's going in the fridge. I guess I could have helped. I like to pretend sometimes that I'm more of a, a documentarian where I don't interfere or interact with the, my, my subjects. That must be really nice for you. <laughs> All right, I think we can stop recording. I think we've recorded enough. I'll stop recording here. You just love looking through it. <laughs> you're still... <laughs> I was wondering why you said beep. I looked out of the monitor, I can see the recording thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's make lunch. Okay. Cake is iced, and I trimmed my edible images down to size a bit. Okay, that is a wet edible image. Why is it wet? It's fresh. Oh. I feel like the concept of this cake is really weird and is not aesthetic, but we're just, we're testing a cake trend here, so that's the point. How does it look when it burns, not prior to burning? Let's, let's pay more attention to that. There was no favoritism with the comments, by the way. I just picked the first like 80 comments that would fit. Um, so whoever commented first, that's the ones that we managed to get on the cake. I like this one comment right there. It just says Archie. <laughs> that is a tight seam. Nicely done, Lori. I don't make it be a hand. Oh, that is not a tight seam. <laughs> no, I take that back. <laughs> So the whole plan um, just went out the window a couple minutes ago, a little bit, just a little bit. You don't think you should be punished for all of this? Just a little bit. We didn't want to do a white cake with just the comment on it. I was trying to do the color. Basically with all that ink, it's just curling and there's no way it will hold its shape around the cake. And because it needs to hover, it can't just get like pushed against the cake. So it's just like a really white, boring cake. And I feel like it's like the least aesthetic cake I've ever made. But the most meaningful. Is the most meaningful. And look at all these good comments. And a lot of the comments are about like, when things go wrong, I don't give up. <laughs> Little do you know, half the time I want to give up. To make up for the fact that this thumbnail is gonna look terrible because now it's a white cake, can everybody give this video a thumbs up? And maybe just like copy link or just press a bunch of buttons to help the engagement because I feel like this video is, the thumbnail is not gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna do doodly hearts um, because that's all I can think of right now in the moment to help this be any less basic and boring than it is. I really wanna do a cake rescue um, series. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. A lot of things go wrong often for me. I like creatively brainstorming on how to get through it. My anxiety doesn't like it, it's not a fan. Um, but I think a cake rescue series could be really interesting. Let's break them. Okay, so this is a little bit more vibey than just white. You got shaky hands, Lori. Yeah, there's a lot of icing this bag, and I'm also very stressed. People were doing like two, three borders, so I think let's go again. Seems excessive. It seems excessive, but they're like, so that way the burn paper isn't touching the other paper. Now you gotta do another border to seal it in. That's built out a little bit, so now I think I can kind of stick it somewhere in there. Okay, I'm just sticking it in. I have no idea what you're doing. Kevin. I have faith in you that you will do it your... to the best of your ability. This is your idea. Oh my God, like, it's got wings. Kevin, it's got wings. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, so we'll do like this. This looks dumb. Oh my God, <laughs> so bad. I feel like that looks a little better. <laughs> Stop it, it sounds like a turkey in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, should I just leave it? Let's see how it burns. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we're leaving. <laughs> oh my God, don't 
judge me for the quality of this kid. Do you want to do some final shots? I would love to. What am I supposed to film? Film all the beauty <laughs> shots, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is a hot mess, but let's, let's read the comment. You look like a whale, and you'll never be as beautiful, as popular, or as successful as Rosanna Pancino. You should just give up. I mean, reading it back, it sounds like kind of funny, like it's so ridiculous, but I have such bad imposter syndrome, especially like coming up in this industry, just feeling like I really didn't fit in, and I really didn't belong. So for someone to like compare me to someone I look up to so much, it's like, you'll never be like her. And then to like comment my body, it was like one of the first comments I ever had on my body. And I grew up being bullied so bad, and it's just like, here we go, the internet's not gonna bully me. I mean, it's sad that someone probably feels so badly about themselves inside, whether they let that show to the world or not, that they then have to go try to make other people feel really bad about themselves. When this person doesn't know me, like, they've probably never watched the channel again, but yet this comment has impacted me for years, and words just cut deep like that, and it sucks. But I'd rather, where I can, focus on the positive and focus on the really good comments that make me feel amazing, that make me feel confident and make me stop feeling like an imposter, which is what you guys have helped me do through your comments. So, love you. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna burn them up! <laughs> Not the good people, the bad person. This is just dangerous. Nobody should be trusting me with a torch. Okay, that's a little bit, a little too much flames. That's a lot of flames. That's a lot of flames. It's hurting our nice comments. I'm oh, sorry, no. people. This was Kevin's idea. <laughs> oh, it smells like very toasty. Do you think I should burn? Well, let's, maybe I'll help this we, burn. Well, or we could just put it out. Yeah, let's, yeah, okay. <laughs> thumbnails. It's pooling, Kevin. Nobody should be doing the sides of the cake. No, don't do the sides. Don't do the sides. Just do the top or nothing at all. Maybe this is not a good trend. This is a this really- is a bad, I see why bakers are yeah. like, this is a really bad trend. Yeah. I will take responsibility for this cake lacking design, <laughs> but I think in turn, you need to take responsibility for this. <laughs> How does, How does it look, it look when, when it burns? It burns. It's not, it's not prior, prior to burning. burning. Let's, let's, let's pay more, more attention, attention to that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, the sides is a bad idea. Oh, it's so bad. I thought this sides. was gonna be so symbolic. Yeah. Like you like the bad comment, you reveal this like loving comment, and it's just like, you. we lit the, the world. We just lit everyone on fire. <laughs> you just, uh, Sorry. you uh, Daenerys Targaryen this cake. Yeah, <laughs> I really did. I did not mean to treat you all with such disrespect. <laughs> I liked it on the top though. It is kind of cool. It sucks that there's these like, do you see these like burnt little nuggets? It's a cool trend, but it's, it's not a cool good. Trend. It's, it's not a good trend. Don't do this. I feel like don't do this. It's um, dangerous. Very dangerous. That was a made, lot of fire in the house. That was a lot. I'm, I was gonna bring this somewhere today. I can't bring this. I, I can't show this to anyone except the whole internet. <laughs> Honestly, thank you guys so much for all your positivity. Not just with this one comment section, um, but in all the comment sections and for lifting me up and building me up, you guys have helped me become who I am and where I am and I love you.